welcome back to our channel. I am Cold Fire. And I'm Kit. And today we are going to be reacting to the next installments of the Girly Show Tour by Madonna. And this is live from Sydney, Australia, way back in 1993. So far, this concert has been a much more controversial, I think, than Blonde Ambition. And a lot more thought has been put into uh, it. Oh, uh, yeah. And she said that after Blind Ambition, she would never do another extravagant concert. But <laughs> as the years go by, we all know that she kept getting better and better. But she had some serious points in this so far, and she's had some funny parts in this. But the main thing is, um, you know one thing that I've noticed that she mm. hasn't put into this a lot? What? Catholicism. Good. That's because she did it all on her last one. Yeah, I think that she's trying to go to the, um, make this concert more about well, the equality. Problem, well, the problem is, is that if you keep, if you stick to one thing, like the last concert was Catholicism. Right. She wanted to piss off the Pope, basically. Yeah. And she, if she kept doing it on every concert, no one's going to go to them because they're getting tired of the same old thing all the time. Yeah, and I think this one's more about um, equality and, and inclusion, so, so to speak. So let's if you get, get with let's, it. let's, let's. And gender bending. So let's see what she's going to do next. I think it's...
she was tearing the hell up out of that floor. Mm-hmm. It just goes to show they put a lot of effort into this, a lot of training, because that's a lot of dance moves. I told you, this concert, she has danced more in this concert than the Bond Ambition, I mm-hmm. believe. No, I, I, I mean, she's really kicking it up a notch. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this, because um, there's so many versions of dance in uh, the Latin culture, but I don't know what this one is called mm-hmm. that she's doing. Maybe she's doing a mashup of them, mm-hmm. or it could be her own thing. I have no idea. It, it could be the uh, cha cha. That's what I was thinking it was. No. I don't know, maybe somebody can tell us uh, what um, dance she was doing in this, but, I mean, she had them all in perfect sync. Mm-hmm. And that's, I've noticed that in her concerts. That's what I mean. They do a lot of practice and a lot of rehearsals. Yeah. So, and that's, if you ain't the right fit, she will kick you out. Yeah. So Because perfection deserves perfection. So, so let's get on and see what she does with the rest of it. We love this song. Are you having a good time? Yes? Well, you guys must have said your prayers because it hasn't rained so far. And I just want to get down on my knees right now. Come on, you guys, come on. Get down on your knees. I know it's not often that you find yourself in this position. <laughs> but I just want to thank God for not raining on my show. Thank you. Come on, honey, I'll help you. Um, I know that it didn't rain because I chose not to steal that certain article from my hotel room last week. <laughs> I put it back because I didn't want any bad karma. All right? So stop stealing from the hotels, you guys, all right? Thank you. <laughs> um, also, you may have noticed there's several cameras around, flying around, annoying everybody. Thank you for putting up with them. But if, if, if they're annoying you, you can imagine how I feel. Every time I'm dripping with sweat and snot is flying out of my nose, it zooms in for a close-up. And I, and I like that. But that's kind of like a metaphor for life, right? When snot's flying out of your nose, they always zoom in for the close-up. It's, it's a beautiful metaphor. Yes, misery does love company. But I'm not bitter, because life is too short to be bitter. And, and I'm too short to be bitter, okay? <laughs> okay? Okay, I admit, I, I need a vacation, okay? I'll, I'll shut up, okay? <laughs> I know she's getting ready to do holiday, and this is this is always yeah, I know. the but song it, that gets people up. You know what this reminds me of? Rhythm Nation. Really? What? When she has all those... I mean, obviously she did it first. Well, Rhythm Nation was more... Um, no, mean, um, meaning, meaning the outfits and the way... You're talking about the big buttons yeah. on the jackets. Yeah. I don't think and how were, and how yeah. they're like being little soldier things. Yeah, that's what Janet did too. So obviously Janet copied her. Now, um, I'm trying to think. Um, or was it the other way around? No, because I remember in Truth or Dare, whenever they were doing try on clothes, and she came out and she had a jacket on that looked like Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation. Mm-hmm. 
and she's like, how do I look, boys? And um, she went to close the door, and one of them said, Barry Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I heard that. Well. Because, you know. But so, I mean, that's what it they, looks they, like. They respect each other. I know I that. mean, I'm just saying. There was years where people had pitted Janet and Madonna against each other, and it was all because of a book that was written by a relative that, that done that. And it was not true. It was all made up. And they apologized when Madonna went to the hospital recently. So. Janet came to the hospital and visited her. and and um, They kissed and made up. No. Okay. But all the years that they had lost together because of one little thing that mm -hmm. was said. Boy, celebrities against celebrities. <laughs>
Had them all worked up.
Wow. She never fails when she does holiday, does she? Mm -hmm. That was her song that she sang when she said that she was going to conquer the world. Mm -hmm. And she always knows that when people come to her concert, they want to hear that damn song. I just don't get it. On the back of on the back of it, it has the American flag. I mean, I do get it because she is an American. Yeah. But I would have thought she would have put for the different countries she visits their flag on the back, just because that's who's in. No, in Australia you have to go by the country that you represent. Oh. So she's representing that she's a U.S. She, she's from the U.S. Well, no, I, I, I know. And she's showing at the time. She felt the need. Well, at the time, <coughs> that when the U.S. was actually respected. No, that's when the the uh, Middle East War, uh, the um, Gulf War, mm -hmm. has started. Yeah, I know that. And she was showing her respect to our country, like Australia was on our side. Mm -hmm. um, there's only a few that aren't on our side. Oh, I know. But she was producing the American flag wherever she went across the world because, you know, she was considered unpatriotic. Mm. You know, she was considered unchristian. She yeah. was considered this and that. But she didn't do it out of pressure by no means. Mm -hmm. She does things out of respect. She's saying that, you know, this is this is my flag. This is where I'm proud to come from. I'm an Italian American. <laughs> and But she did a song made up for Australia okay. to kind of coincide with that because she was basically saying you know because you were so obedient <coughs> you know to me coming to your country I'm going to sing you a song that I wrote for you and I thought it was a good gesture for her to you know to pay homage to Australia mm -hmm. and um yeah that that version um um God, I forgot what. Whenever um, I don't know how much she, how much energy it took to do La Isla Bonita and uh, Holiday like she did. I know she took some stops in Holiday, but that that was some, that was some damn leg work and arm movements and bending and stretching like I had never seen before. But you got to admit, like you said at the beginning, she was she was really toned up. I think she was ready for this tour to give it that dance. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. But that was um, La Isla Bonita, which has always been, um, that's actually her number one song on Spotify and most Googled song by Madonna in the history books. And um, then she did a holiday which was her performance on American Bandstand with Dick Clark when she was asked the New Year's question, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? And she's like, to conquer the world. And she had already conquered the world. Now she's just got the world following her <laughs> like a soldier, like she was just doing here. But we really enjoyed this one because it was full of energy, which I know you like. Um, but... Um, that was it. But we are going to do, um, I think that she does a couple more songs because, you know, she always comes back out for encores. So we're going to finish this one up and then react to the, the encore songs on this one. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction to The Girly Show live from Sydney, Australia. And be sure to look out for the last one coming up next. Love you. Bye-bye.